What's up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And this is the biggest entertainment show, as you know, where we make your entertainment life a lot easier by breaking down the trending stories in the world of entertainment. My name is Efeo Luwashike and I'm here with Nimi Dekombi. Ah, wow, I'm disappointed. <laughs> There's no oh, you wanted an adjective. I was not waiting. Like, I, uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't have the energy for all of that I today. Mean, like, I was just like, man, you just have to be Nimi. You just have to be yourself. You, you're good as you are. Oh. You're beautiful as you are. You're great as you are. So I don't need no adjective to, dis to define you. <laughs> you get me. How are you doing, though? I'm good. Yeah, you look good. Always on point. Always on point. Always, always shining. Always are glowing. you always on time, though? Always on time. What do you mean? Mm. What do you mean? Amazing stuff. <laughs> so what have you been up to? What have I been up to? I've been up and about, like, you know, just chilling, working, doing everything I can to create content. Amazing so that's stuff. Doing. Yeah, that's what we do at Plus TV Africa. Yes, big stories do. leave here. So talking about big stories, um, yesterday we discussed August Alsina, who recently spoke about his relationship with Jada Pinkett Smith and even went as far as claiming Will Smith gave his blessing on a radio show. But in a twist of events, Jada's reps says Alsina's claims are absolutely not true. Mm. I, I, I don't really know about... Like, if it is not true or true, mm. but I am leaning towards the side of it being true. Mm. Because it's just that there are pictures out there, you know, that show them being, like, very, very close. Mm. Yeah, you know, closer than normal. Like, not closer than normal, but you shall feel like there's something going on. And this, I, in fact, I'm not surprised that people are, like, reacting like this. Because this is something that has been, like, whispered for a very long time, especially about Will and Jada. It's something that people have been talking about for so long about this couple. I even thought that it was like common and like open knowledge, knowledge. Yeah. Um, you know, public knowledge that they had an open marriage. I mean, they've never actually come to say that, oh, we have an yeah, open marriage. I was going to say that because they've that, never agreed. Yeah, they keep on trying to say that, oh, we, are, we don't have it. But like for most people, like the speculation is that they are most likely, you know, having an open marriage. And if they are having an open marriage, I don't think that they have to hide it or they have to, you know, like lie about it or say that, oh, this is not what is happening. Because for so long, it feels like that is the kind of inference that a lot of people have been getting mm. from both of them. And it's not just... Because I, I was seeing some comments and people were like attacking Jada and attacking Will Smith, saying that how did Will Smith allow such a thing to happen? But basically, that's what being an open marriage is about. Like, your partner knows that you're with another person. So for me, I'm not... I, I, I think that if they are in an open marriage and they are still trying to like present themselves as if they are not there's no need for that like the world is evolving like people are more accepting mm. of some things if you had to like maybe cover it up before in maybe like 10 years ago now people are people have evolved people are more accepting of mm. things that are you know not conventional that's just how i feel i don't know if it is true or not, but me, I'm leaning towards the side that it is true, just and for my own conspiracy Well, Smith theories. and Jada have even graduated from marriage to life partnership, so... Whatever that means. Whatever that means. That's, that's good. Don't you think that's a good thing? Like, when you graduate from marriage and you know that, okay, for better or worse, this person is my life partner, even but, when but, we're not... I'm sorry. Isn't that what marriage is about? Like, when you get married, isn't that, like, the whole idea that this person is supposed to be your this, life partner? This is the higher level of, your... of marriage. This is the what? It's this just is the higher oh, level wow, this of is a high, like it's yeah, like, spiritual yeah, level. Like no matter, you know, marriages you can still There's do the marriage divorce 1.0. Thing. Divorce, divorce is not this an option. This one is another this version. One. Yeah, it's an updated divorce one. is not an option. Oh, like okay. we are, we are going to remain life partners. For me, of I what personally goes think that the reason why divorce, uh, divorce might not be an option for them is because there's a lot to lose economically. Mm. Will and Jada are like a powerhouse. It's just like Beyonce and Jay Z. If they are going to get a divorce, it's going to be huge. I mean, Jay Z is a billionaire. Beyonce is rich in her own right, but you know that it's going to be kind of messy if mm. they want to split. So for me, I think that the reason why they chose to be lifetime partners is because there's a lot to lose financially. I'm just and worried. also maybe they are just friends. And I'm just worried about the whole August Alcina's claims. If um, it's a lie, if it's not true, even though their pictures speculating that they they had a relationship and um the way he said they met um jada again mm -hmm. through a son Jaden. Yeah, Jaden. Yeah. i can imagine introducing my friend to my mom and then my mom has an affair with <laughs> my friend these things I happen it's yeah not, I, I, think, I think i think i think
think I'll be troubled by that. Then you now go on to lie about it. Come on, it's going to be all out war. So well, I don't know. I don't I know how they're going I, to if, handle it. If Jada this. is lying, I might understand the reason. But why I don't she feel is. like Jada has any reason to lie. Even though this is still a rap, I'd like to hear from the us's mouth. I'd like yeah. her to come out to say that um, this is not true. And, and again, and again, I, I would want to even believe August because, like, what it was would emotional gain? about exactly. it. And apart from the fact that it was emotional, people lie and they're emotional. What would he gain mm -hmm. from lying about having a relationship with Jada, to be honest? Like, what <laughs> a lot. Is, to what boost his career. Yeah. When last did you hear of August well, Alsina? Now we're talking about August Alsina. Come and on. Do you think it is going to boost his music It could be sales? publicity stunt. Is, is that going to make yes, people want yes, to Yes, because music? a lot of... Um, Jada, Jada has a lot of fans already that will probably tilt towards his music right now. He's probably getting more streams than he was getting last week if just because is, of what he if, said. If that is a marketing strategy, then I don't know. I think that the um, PR, the public relations... Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good PR stunt, if you ask me. It's a very great... It's a great PR it's stunt. Not very it's like me. It's concerned. like me now. Or, okay, okay, I don't want to shade nobody. Body, so I wanted to call out an artist, but that would be shading somebody. But let's um, imagine an artist that is not making so much sales in Nigeria and then suddenly comes out to say, um, I, I, I had an affair with um, Jaruma, for example, who we know is married. And then Jaruma has a lot of fans. Of course, automatically people are wondering, who is this guy? Where has he been? What song has he dropped recently? Why is Jaruma into this guy? People are tweeting, people are reading, people are checking, people you are have streaming. A point, Do you understand? To be honest, because I, I just remember the R. Kelly situation and the fact that his music sales boosted when he was accused of of rape. So I guess if that mm -hmm. was, you know, August or Sina's PR team, if that was their plan, I don't know. That was not like very, very effective in my own opinion. But I, I don't know. I hope he's telling the truth. Yeah. So I'm on August's count. All right. So whatever it is, definitely the truth will always come out. The light comes at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> but this one I am definitely looking forward to. As Yemi Alade, popularly called Mama Africa, Antiwa Savage will look so savagery. We'll be doing. We'll be going toe to toe. Why give me that look? Like come on. <laughs> yeah. Antiwa Savage has like the dopest look. I don't know how she does it but she she's like a vampire she doesn't age she looks so gorgeous oh, still uh, yeah to be honest a lot of people who have money look ageless <laughs> it's not just you are savage i could say the same for maybe naomi campbell i could say the same for so many no you can tell so many celebrities no, that you I can wish. say the same thing for naomi campbell you of course naomi those campbell of us that knew way, naomi naomi campbell is way older than, than she was savage mm. I mean, yeah, Naomi Campbell is way older than she looks. And yeah, looks, she's yeah. also way older than she looks. So, All right, yeah. but I'm interested in this Yemi Alade and um, Tiwa Savage battle. I love to see it. I love the both of them. So yeah. I'm not going to say I'm supporting Yemi Alade True. because that's the argument on Twitter and on on social media generally. People are like, who are you, who are you going for? Who? But I'm not going to go for anybody because both of them, they've done so well for each other. Um, Tiwa Savage has very dope songs. Yemi Alade has very dope songs. So I, I can't choose, but I'd just like to see them go toe to toe. Let's see what they have mm. to bring. You know, that vibe. That Yemi, Al Yemi Alade has a vibe. Tiwa Savage has a vibe. You know, let's just have best of both worlds. That's the way I see it. For me, I think that um, when you look at it, Tiwa Savage might. I'm not choosing anybody's mm. camp. I'm just trying to predict. Might. I feel like Tiwa Savage might actually win. Because when it comes to I, hits, even when it comes if it's to that, radio, I feel like Tiwa Savage might lose. Really? Yeah. I, I feel like when it comes, especially if it is like, if it is limited to Nigeria, when it comes to hits in Nigeria, like the songs that people are playing, Tiwa okay, Savage's so let's, let's name play a game. comes up. Let's you know, play a game. You are okay. Team Tiwa, right? I'm Team I'm Yemi not Alade. Choosing any team. No, no, okay, okay, no, no. Let's just play. It's a game. That's why I called it a okay. game. Like, let's play a game. Two songs from Yemi Alade right now. I mean, okay, I'm Yemi Alade, right? You're Tiwa Savage. So, yeah. two songs from Tiwa Savage. Eminado. And like, give me, like, give me two lines. Eminado, Eminado. Okay. And next one. <laughs> um, 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 I'm just, okay. Love, love me, love me, love me, love me. Na, 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 All right, so yeah. I'm doing. I'm looking for my journey. <laughs> okay. Hey. Okay. Give me that. <laughs> that is my journey. <laughs> hey. Just an answer. Then, I did hear yeah, the sound of the world coming. Dumbo, that one is recent. I, yeah, I, so I, I, I don't give you two. I just give you two older Tiba Savage songs. I never come to Whatever. We are not see the total thing. Ones. They are not telling us. Forty nine, ninety nine. Old. Man, man, law and ah, come 90, on. Ninety nine, ninety nine. Come Aye, on, come on. I, personally, I think Tiba Savage is mm. going to win. I, I love Yemi Aladi. I love her music. 
I, I, when it comes to like, I feel like she's somebody in the Nigerian entertainment industry that people always like, I don't know, like they don't rate her as much, but mm. she's actually a very, very huge artist. And I love the old Mama Africa thing that she does because she's not just saying a Mama Africa. She is mm. really portraying the Mama mm. Africa and her music cuts across different, you know, countries in Africa. So I'm, I don't know, like I'm rooting for both of them. No, I'm just like that. But I think yeah, so I'm rooting for both of them. And best of luck to the both of them. This will yeah. be happening on Friday. So, yeah, which is tomorrow. So stay tuned and let's see who wins.